There was a warrant out for Conor McGregor's arrest. This is some man code stuff, you know, you don't, you, you just, it's, it's just something you don't do. It's one of the, it's one of the dirtiest things you can do. You want to be in business with Conor McGregor? Yeah, no, right now, no. Absolutely not. It's no secret that Conor McGregor and UFC president Dana White have had their fair share of ups and downs. Are they friends or is it just business? Let's break it down from the beginning. Oh, you know, right. so good, man. We're yeah. pumped. So welcome. Hey, let's stay in the Conor McGregor started boxing young at the age of 12 and started taking his training seriously at the age of 19 and would quit his job as a plumber's apprentice to focus on fighting. Conor only had one amateur fight which he would win by knockout. <laughs> Shortly after, he started training with John Cavanaugh to prepare for his professional MMA debut in March of 2008. Conor McGregor had a record of 12-2 and, and was a two-division champion when he joined the UFC in 2013. Conor would win his first fight via TKO. This is why everyone's been talking about Conor Back in these days, Conor McGregor was no millionaire. His first fight, he only received $60,000. Dana, 60 G's, baby! <laughs> Conor's career really began to take off in 2015 after he defeated Jose Aldo in 13 seconds at UFC 194. And at this point, Conor had become a household name and every casual MMA fan knew who Conor McGregor was. Dana White appeared to be on cloud nine. He had found his star, his fighter that could talk a lot of trash, but also back it up. Someone who could get all the news buzzing with his controversial interviews and brought millions of eyes to the UFC franchise. Conor McGregor's name is synonymous with the UFC, with many people beginning to watch MMA because of Conor McGregor. As Conor McGregor's popularity and wealth grew, so did the UFC's. In 2013, the UFC's parent corporation, Zufa, made a reported $516 million, and by 2018, this figure nearly doubled, with them surpassing $940 million that year alone. Now in 2022, the organization is worth a reported $5 billion. It's safe to say Conor McGregor played a huge part in the UFC success, but does he feel like he's been properly compensated? It appears not. In 2017, Conor McGregor had his largest payday yet after completing an exhibition boxing match versus Floyd Mayweather, which he made a reported $130 million which is 43 times the amount he made in a single UFC bout at that time. Tensions started to rise between Dana White and Conor McGregor in 2018 after Conor's beef with Habib Nurmagomedov led Conor to attack a UFC bus that left UFC fighters injured. Up until this point, Conor McGregor and Dana White's relationship seemed perfect. But that all changed once Connor threw that dolly at that bus. Dana White was quick to respond to the situation and denounce Conor McGregor, and he referred to Conor McGregor and his friends as thugs in an interview with ESPN. And how about your professional relationship with Conor? Not good. Police are. There is a warrant out for Conor McGregor's arrest. It's the most disgusting thing that has ever happened in the history of the, of the company. I think that after this disgusting despicable move. I think everybody's relationship with Connor is going to be not so great. Sitting here, you know, I know it's fresh, but you want to be in business with Connor McGregor? Yeah, no, right now, no. Absolutely not. Less than a year later in 2019, Conor McGregor announced that he would be retiring from the UFC and would not fight again with the organization. Dana White spoke publicly about this, stating that Connor was just seeking more money and not respect and that Connor wants to own a piece of the UFC, which Zufa quickly rejected. Dana White was even quoted saying, he's stuck on this thing where he wants a piece of the ownership. And that's just like if you look at basketball, Michael Jordan didn't own a piece of the league, and the list goes on and on. In another interview in 2019, Dana White stated that Conor McGregor was no longer the man, and that Habib Nurmagomedov was calling the shots now. Sources close to Conor responded to Dana's taunts, 
revealing that Conor McGregor felt used by the UFC and underpaid. By that time, Conor McGregor had already sold 7 million pay-per-views equaling around $420 million. He was making a fraction of this revenue per fight. Tensions seemed to clear up between Conor and Daniel when Conor agreed to fight Donald Cerrone in January of 2020 before the pandemic. However, their relationship quickly took a turn for the worse when Conor leaked private messages between himself and Dana White claiming that Dana was keeping him back from fights and acting like he did not wish to fight. Dana responded to the screenshot saying it was one of the dirtiest things that someone could do and that Connor broke the man code by posting the messages. Yeah. That, did that upset you that he kind of shared private conversations? Listen, I've had people blowing me up left and right. Um, I mean, everybody here knows. I mean, even the ladies, this is some man code stuff. You know, you don't, you, you just, it's, it's just something you don't do. It's one of the it's one of the dirtiest things you can do which by the way you know because uh we we're just talking about diego sanchez you know and diego sanchez is in there in a private conversation that i was having with connor when you're the number two or three ranked guy in the world and you're, you're telling me that you want to fight but you want to fight unranked 39 year old diego sanchez in a main event in los angeles you know since then, Dana has stated in interviews that him and Connor are on better terms and were speaking daily leading up to Connor's fight versus Dustin Poirier in 2021. But many UFC fans are convinced the relationship between Connor and Dana will never be the same. Many feel that Connor realized he was being used by the UFC, and as soon as he started asking for more money and partial ownership of the company, things started to go downhill. After breaking his leg in his second fight versus Dustin Poirier, Conor McGregor has not been in any discussions for any future fights as of yet, leaving many fans wondering what is next for his career. Dana White, but the king of Dublin, the notorious Conor McGregor. <laughs> you know what Conor told me? He says, I want Khabib in Russia. <laughs> <laughs> Is he f***ing awesome? He's like, I want Khabib in Russia. Yeah. Dana White, the OG in a fight game. He'll shoot this bad boy. I think it's got gonna be long and I yes. think... How do you not love him? How do you not love Conor McGregor? I'm telling you, you're unbelievable. Here's the new champ now. Congrats, guys. Yeah, <laughs> Welcome up, to the UFC, man. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> so, there's been a lot of hype. I guess yeah, the hype is real, yeah, man. Yeah. And if you enjoyed this video, watch this video next.